Uh, dozens of people have been arrested as a result of an international police investigation into the Indrangheta, the Italian mafia in Calabria. They long ago surpassed the Cosa Nostra as the, in size and reach, and particularly hard to crack because they're bound by family loyalty rather than any loyalty to the organisation itself. The suspects arrested are accused of money laundering, uh, criminal tax evasion, fraud and the smuggling of drugs. The crackdown was part of a coordinated investigation by police in Germany, Belgium, France, Italy, Portugal and Spain. Let's, uh, let's talk then to our Italy correspondent, Sofia Betitza, who's been uh, following this. Um, tell us about the, the, the arrest. Cl there's clearly a, a huge international reach for this, this mafia group, um, the Andrangheta, in, in so many countries. That's right, Christian. And in fact, this was the biggest investigation to have been carried out against Ndrangheta to date. Um, earlier today, we heard from some of the top anti-mafia prosecutors in Italy who um, said that this was unprecedented in terms of scale. You know, hundreds of people have been arrested, and not only in Italy, 13 people arrested in Belgium, 24 in Germany, and lots of arrests, as you've mentioned, made in other countries in Europe. Now, here in Italy, 108 people have been arrested earlier today. And also, millions of euros have been seized, thousands of tons of narcotics, mostly cocaine, but also heroin and hashish. Earlier today, Italian police released a video showing some of the assets that have been seized, uh, and those include assault rifles, handguns, but also gold bars and stacks and stacks of cash. Obviously, when, when we talk about the mafia in, in Italy, we talk mainly about the Cosa Nostra, but there are these two other groups, the Camorra uh, down in the south, around the Naples area, and then this one in Calabria. What is it about this specific group and the way that it operates that is different to the other two? Well, you know, um, the... The Ndrangheta originated in Calabria, as you mentioned, which is in southern Italy, which is one of the poorest region, regions of the country. But in the last few years, it has become the most powerful mafia group in Italy. And in fact, it's now one of the largest crime networks in the world. It operates in over 40 countries, and they're involved in a wide range of criminal activities, money laundering, international drug trafficking, but also extortion and the rigging of public contracts. And for the last few years, there's been a huge police effort to fight the Ndrangheta. And the arrests today were the, culminations, the culmination of a, an investigation called Operation Eureka, which had been going on for over three years. And so it's a really big victory today for anti-mafia prosecutors in Italy and in Europe. And just, just very quickly, Sophia, how, does this, I mean, clearly there is, there is someone who leads the group, there is the boss, it, does, it, does it put an end to the, the, the Andrangheta's operations? Does it deal them a, a big blow? What, what is the scale of what they've done here? It's a big blow, uh, but it definitely would not put an end to their operation as such. I think that would be um, wishful thinking for the moment. What is really important about this investigation is the new information that's come to light about some, how some of the sort of highest levels of the Ndrangheta, some of the most powerful families operate. According to anti-mafia prosecutors, they have flooded the European market with drugs, which they imported from Southern Europe, and then they laundered the money they, that they make in lots of European countries, especially Germany, interestingly, where prosecutors uncovered a very big network of uh, coffee shops, ice cream parlors, and pizza restaurants that were being used as fronts. Also, interestingly, something new that's come to light is that lots of Ndrangheta members use Chinese money brokers to move large sums of cash to, you know, to pay for drug deals. So lots of new information that's come to light today. And that's the thing that anti-mafia prosecutors are sort of the happiest about, the information that will help them sort of continue the ongoing fight against the mafia in Italy and in Europe. Follow the money, they say. Not always that straightforward, though, once it's been washed. Uh, Sofia Betitza, thank you very much indeed.